you know, seeing the video from Las Vegas and the shootings is unsettling. But for one Salt Lake City woman, it's even more than that. The specialist Alex Cabrero spoke to, spoke to Carolyn Tuft. She was shot twice during the Trolley Square shootings here in Salt Lake. And he asked her about what survivors of mass shootings face in the months and years ahead. Clocks are ways to measure time to show us how many hours, days, and even years pass in our lifetime. I am aware of the pain. I feel it every minute of every single day. But for Carolyn Tuft, time has been difficult. I wake up in the morning so nauseous and in so much pain, it just takes forever to get going. She was shot twice, but as a survivor of the Trolley Square shootings in Salt Lake City 10 years ago, her daughter, 15-year-old Kirsten Hinckley, didn't survive. I would give anything to have a new picture of her. Seeing news of mass shootings always affects her in ways most of us can't imagine. But the Las Vegas shootings really got to her. And seeing the images of people cr crouched over their loved ones to try to protect them, it just put me back in Charlie Square. Because that's what she did with her daughter. People don't understand it completely rips your life away. And the thing about being at something like this is time sort of stands still. Even though in reality, time does move on for survivors, it also almost stops. And I cried for the people who are now going to live the life I've been living the last 10 and a half years. They have no idea what's what's ahead of them. It's, it's, um, it's hell. Tuft has become an advocate for new gun laws, but is careful not to say gun control. She believes in the Second Amendment and knows laws may not have stopped Las Vegas, but feels something needs to change. It's scary that you can't let your kids go to a concert and worry that they might not come home or, or go to church or go to school or go shopping, you know, in my case. She also knows more than 500 survivors are only in the first week of what has been 10 years for her. You know, there's nothing I can say to those people who are going to live my life except look for the silver lining because that's all I can do now is look for the good things in each day. Sometimes time doesn't heal all wounds. Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News. Alex